Now, the global strategic temperature has reached feverish levels. Of course, there's that land war in Europe and increasing cross-straits tensions between China and Taiwan. And in this environment, the Prime Minister and his Defence Minister received their crucial Defence Strategic Review today. It was produced by the former Defence Force Chief Sir Angus Houston and the former Defence Minister Stephen Smith. In short, this document assesses our defence readiness and what we need to do to bolster our own security. It comes on the eve of a new documentary here on Sky News that asks the crucial question, are we ready for war? Just what that review asks. It's hosted by Peter Stefanovic. It airs tomorrow night at 7.30 and I caught up with Peter earlier. Well, I'll start off, uh, Chris, with the question that we ask. Are we ready for war? It seems like a dramatic question to ask, but when you break it down... It's quite reasonable because it all centres around Taiwan. Xi Jinping, the, the Chinese president, has made no secret of his plan to eventually take Taiwan or reunify, is what he calls it. The people in Taiwan just call it unify, but that's a, a side matter. So if China invades Taiwan, what does the US do? The US gets involved, according to, to Joe Biden. If the US gets involved, Australia would find it very difficult not to take part. So we are a player then. Then do we become a target? See how it stretches around? So again, a reasonable question to ask, are we ready for war? And the overwhelming response that I got is, no, we're not. Yeah, absolutely. We'll come back to that in a moment. But looking about the preconditions for war, we've got a lot of trade angst with China. There's a big military build-up. We know they've always had aspirations to reunify with Taiwan. Mm. That rhetoric has been stepped up under Xi Jinping. It seems like like it's imminent. Is that, yeah. is that the case? Yeah, and, and we can say the next couple of years is imminent because in the grand scheme of things, that's not a very large amount of time. So I've been speaking to the leadership in Taiwan and some senior defence officials here in Australia too, mind you, and the general consensus is that an invasion will happen in 2027. Why is that? Because that's when Xi Jinping comes to the end of his third term and he's going to want something to sell to the Chinese people that he should get a fourth term. Also, it's the 100th year of the PLA, People's Liberation oh. Army. So what better way to celebrate an army by using it to invade? Well, let's go to Taiwan now, as you did, and you caught up with the foreign minister there, Joseph Wu. Let's have a look at what he had to say. We are concerned that China might feel that uh, they are confident enough to use military force against Taiwan without too much opposition. And if they have that kind of confidence, they may attack Taiwan at any time. Now, Peter, you went to Taiwan, you walked those beaches mm. that have tank traps on them. Yeah. They are on the front line. They've yeah. been living this day in and day out. I suppose what you're saying too is that Australia, Japan, the US, we need to be just as prepared. Yeah. That's fascinating, isn't it? Yeah, but we went to the Kinmen Islands, which is just such a strange kind of place. It's part of the Taiwanese controlled territory, yet it's about two to three kilometres away from the Chinese mainland. So you've got these spikes in the sand that are from previous wars from the 1950s, but they could still well be used if, if war to ever happen because they would be the first islands that the Chinese military would go over the top of if it were to ever happen. But if, if Xi Jinping thinks it's going to be easy to get Taiwan, you'd want to think that he would have second thoughts because you mentioned a few of the other nations who would find it difficult not to get involved as well. You get the US, the UK, Australia. What does India do? What does Japan? Japan would come to Taiwan's help, you would think. Indonesia, South Korea, the ledger starts to square as, uh, here. So that's, that's where um, uh, Andrew Hastie was saying that, you know, it could amount to World War Three in our conversations with him. Well, it is such a worry because uh, some people have argued, Paul Keating among them, that uh, you just forget about yeah, Taiwan as it part of uh, China's orbit. But it's sticks a... at a mountain, I think, <laughs> is what he said, yeah. Yeah, well, it's, it's a prosperous democratic nation of uh, 30 million people. Yeah. So if that can just fall by the wayside, notwithstanding the differences in mm. history and geography, what would stop China from taking Australia uh, full of resources yeah. and a food basket for it. So how prepared are we? I noticed you spoke, apart, yeah. to, apart from uh, Andrew Hastie, you spoke to the late and great Jim Molden yeah. in what I believe was his last interview. What do we need to do in Australia to make up for our air and naval capability yeah. gaps? And, and Mick Ryan too, uh, another uh, retired um, Major General. But, I mean, the general consensus from these well-respected figures are that we are playing catch-up big time. So uh, if war were to break out by 2027, we, we're, we would find ourselves in a lot of trouble. So we need 
More troops. Government's working on that now, but I mean, it's a 20 year plan there. It's, it's, it's a long term plan. We need more troops. We need more assets in the water. We need more assets in the sky. We need more defence systems in the northern parts of Australia. Uh, what's interesting is the US has recently come to agreement with Australia to um, have higher rotations and to be use, able to use um, more land in northern Australia, which also signifies why it's so concerned. It's also got troop rotations off Okinawa as well. That it's announcing so that's getting quite close to Taiwan as China is increasing its threats it's moving rotations of troops closer as well so you, you see a theme here hmm. right it's 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 really concerning great stuff Pete looking forward to it 7 30 tomorrow night you're taking some of our time tomorrow night yeah, we'll watch sorry the about that, and then we'll follow up on it afterwards. I owe you <laughs> cheers <laughs> Yeah, tune in for that one tomorrow night, 7.30. Are we ready for war? I think not just yet. That could be a problem.